Don't mind the Christmas tree still being up, but welcome to a new vlog. My name is Sonali, and this is Ryan, and our anniversary is actually today. 11, 11 years. years. 11 years. Well, you're going to say the wrong years. No. 11 years. Who's counting? Who's counting? We're going to start off this morning by going on a walk. We have started a health journey. I haven't vlogged. Like, it is January 7th, so mm -hmm. I'm, I swear I'm going to, you know, start vlogging on January 8th, but we got back midweek last week so i just like needed to get in the groove of things again but we started um you know getting on our health grind we signed up for lifetime fitness love that gym so much um and we're just really trying to be more active and eat way healthier so mm. i'm gonna try to show you guys what i've been making we have a wedding in february his yeah. best friend from like what middle school Fifth or like grade. elementary school and the girl is one of my good friends too so we're really excited but we want to like really really feel good at that wedding because i feel like we both just kind of i already ran to my talks too so you did <laughs> yeah like, i ordered it like four like months ago but like how do you, do you know the size or can you change the size just like the size pants do you wear how tall are you can you change the size though i don't know they're supposed to ship it to me oh so i don't know uh -oh. <laughs> so you're too baggy or too tight or something. Oh shit. Well, yeah. I haven't gotten a dress yet. And I don't know. I feel like I always do things last minute. But I also am doing Rent the Runway. So I might check Rent the Runway first. Anyways, moral of the story, we just want to really look and feel good, especially going into the summer and the spring. We're really just cutting down our portions. I'm trying to do a calorie deficit. And it's honestly been working very well so far. And it's been like, what, four days? Um, so anyways, we're going to start off the morning with a walk. I actually walked this path with my friend Nancy yesterday and we hit 10k steps like that because we were just chatting away. Like I feel like whenever we're together, we just like literally can't stop talking. Um, so we're going to do it again this morning and get to our 10k steps, get it over with. We don't have much planned for today, so I think we're just going to go get a pedicure and see where the day takes us. We definitely need to take down this Christmas tree sometime today, so you'll see that too. Just finished our walk we almost did 10k steps i think it was like 8,000 something but i feel like since it's earlier on in the day we'll easily hit our 10k we're steps a few thousand in here looking around probably yeah that's true we're um parked at central market because we thought it would be a fun thing to do we haven't been here in a while and i do prefer the central market up north i've been to the one in south the layout is just better up north but we're going to give it another shot because now we live in south austin so we're a lot closer to this one but I really want to look for sumo oranges and then we need more eggs because we ran through the eggs this week. Um, I feel like that was a good like high protein, protein low calorie breakfast. I put ham, ham. ham and his. Um, I put, oh yeah, yeah onions, onion. chopped mm. onions. It was really yummy. Sophie is so pooped right now. She's ready for her nap. I love to just look around in Central Market because they have so many like fun snacks and new brands with cute packaging. So this will be fun because I haven't been here in a while, like I said. Do you want to go to Central Market? Just got home from Central Market and of course when we were walking through our door, the handles break off, the eggs crack everywhere. So I think we saved like six eggs out of 18. Let's do a little central market haul. This is some egg salad, it just looked really good. So Ryan's gonna have that. And then I wanted this carbone sauce. It's the world famous vodka sauce. And gotta get some pasta too. Look how perfect these shells are though. The pasta there, like everything in there just looks so perfect. The raw chicken is literally stunning. All the meat, the marinated meat, I'm like, oh, I want it all. But I really just go there and try to get like ideas of what to make, especially in their prepared food section. This is not what we got, that was just out. Um, protein waffles, Ryan got these. What else do we get? Where's everything? I've been wanting zatar. It's just like a seasoning spice kind of thing. And then we got flowers and I wanted some tulips. And we got these hydrangeas, they're antique hydrangeas, so they're a little different. And then we got some roses, so I think I'm gonna um, like put them all together. When it comes to doing like floral design, it's not my strong suit, but I can try. So Sonali bought a ton of meat <clears throat> uh, this week. So I'm, we have like one steak left. 
So I'm gonna make that and split it. And then all the broken eggs, I just decided to scramble instead of wasting them. So we're gonna cook up the steak in the cast iron now. It's been a while since I've used it. Don't judge me for using this much seasoning, but I love like garlic salt, onion powder, salt, pepper, really. It's like, I really use. I like it really seasoned. It's 150. Up a little. Gotta do like three minutes each side. On high. Three to four minutes, then I'll pick it is. And then turn it on. Heat down a little bit and just a minute more on each side once you flip it. That seems to be pretty good. We'll add a little more salt in. Garlic salt and onion powder. I decided to put all the different flowers in their separate vases so that I could spread them out <laughs> and I feel like then it's just easier to not have to do like a whole design, floral design because I'm just not there yet but one day hopefully I'll have flowers just growing in my yard. That would be amazing. We really need to plant those bulbs that we got in like one of the last vlogs that I filmed before the new year. We went to a plant store. I just want flowers like this to just grow all over my yard so we need to plant those because I think it said to plant them when the first freeze happens, which I know it's really cold, but I don't know if like the first freeze happens, so I need to research that. It's time to decide where I should put them all. Maybe like one here, one on the coffee table, maybe one in the bedroom. It is almost four now. I actually just put makeup on and did my hair. It's kind of like looking flat because I want it to last a lot longer, so I don't want to brush through it just yet. My friend FaceTimed me, so I talked to her for a little bit, and then Ryan ended up falling asleep on the couch, so he's still napping. And now I am going to use the time wisely while he naps, and I'm going to do some editing for a proposal that I shot last night. I ended the year with shooting a proposal 2023, and I started the year with shooting another one, so might be my new thing, shooting proposals. This guy, it was so funny though, I took a video. I usually always set my phone up to take a video just for them to have and also for me to have for posting on Reels and TikTok and stuff because the last proposal I did, did so well on my photography TikTok. So I was like, okay, from now on, like I have to video every single one. And so this guy drops the ring and like, obviously it's not his fault. He like opened up the box and the ring wasn't secured in the little like indentation. So it like falls out. <laughs> on a dock which is made of wood thank god there were no gaps in the wood but it literally fell like in the crevices of uh like the wood plank so he just picks it up and like keeps on going but it was just funny and terrifying at the same time um but i edited like pretty much everything last night whitened teeth and now oh straightened also the photos but now i might have to do a little photoshop work um, because the guy had his phone in his pocket during the proposal <laughs> and obviously I can't just be like hey can you take that out really quick and then you know proceed but I told him to take it out after um, and we did some portraits right after so those turned out really cute too because the, the sun was perfect last night and just the weather's been really really nice lately which thank god because I'm not ready for like a dreary miserable winter which that usually happens in February, so really not looking forward to it. Um, but I think 
we might be gone for a good amount of it because we are going to a wedding in February too. Um, I really want to go get a pedicure though. We have a dinner reservation at 6.30. I don't think I told you guys where we're going yet because I also don't really know how to pronounce it, but by the end of the night, I will definitely know how to pronounce it. It's um, E... Z O V, so ease off. I'm not really sure, um, but it's a Mediterranean restaurant, and I've literally seen two people post in the past two days saying it was so good like, top five restaurants in Austin. So I'm like, okay, we're going there. And usually, like, I really told Ryan when we were in Central Market and we were like by the sushi, this is probably the first anniversary that we like don't go and eat sushi because we usually always go to a sushi restaurant or I think last anniversary when we went to Sushi Bar ATX, which is like an omakase here, which is delicious, but also like, especially now that we're gonna cook at home more often, like when we go eat out, we need to start trying new things. There's just so many restaurants to try and if we're gonna eat out less, like we might as well, you know, go and try new things. I'm gonna vlog this week. I think I might do two vlogs this week. Originally, I wanted to get back into my weekly vlogs, but at least this week, I feel like I can make two vlogs out of the whole week and like, why not have more vlogs if I can? Um, but I wanna get into like my ins and outs because I feel like those are the new fun thing. Um, and then I also wanna get into my New Year's goals because I just brain dumped on Notion. And I feel like there's just a lot of things that I want to do that are like pretty realistic so I thought it would be fun to share it with you guys and I can do it in the next vlog um but let me go through these photos and then I'll probably only photoshop like the hero photo meaning like the one where he like pops the ring out and then because I feel like it's also like that's just what happened in the moment you know and it's like something to laugh about so and I really don't even know if they'll even like care or like, you know, see it. <laughs> but maybe it's just me being a photographer and me being like super picky and nitpicky and stuff. So let me just Photoshop these two photos. It's funny though, because I like don't really know how to like Photoshop things out. Like I could try my hardest and I could like get close, but I'm not like a professional Photoshopper. But um, if you are anywhere in the creative, industry you would know that photoshop just came out with um their ai generative tool so you can literally like select this area and be like put a pigeon there or like remove this person in the background and it just like literally three seconds and it's gone it is nuts and like i don't know thank god that they have this stuff nowadays because it just makes my job so much easier but it is also funny because I've seen a lot of AI headshots, like people legit using them because I think you have to pay for them too. They just don't really look great, you know, because I've actually tried because I was so curious and I wanted it. I think I got like a free trial. So I did um, like an AI, not even just headshots, but just like have my photos done or something like that. And it didn't even look like me. So I'm like, what the heck? Like, <laughs> I don't think it's worth it. They put you in the same like outfit as everyone else. So if you're in like that pink blazer, then people are gonna know it's an AI headshot and it's just kind of weird to me. I don't know, maybe that's just me, again, being a photographer. The computer that I'm using right now, I purchased it when I first moved to Austin. So that was like about four years ago. I feel like every other computer that I've used before this lasted only four years. I just feel like I use my computer so much and like a lot of apps that take up space and I don't know, just run the computer to the ground basically. So I'm very happy to report that this computer is still feeling brand new hopefully i don't jinx myself with that but i don't know you can really like tell when a computer is slowing down and thank god i'm just like not having that issue this time which also like i spent a lot more money on this computer because i got like way more memory even though i used hard drives or solid state drives not hard drives if you're a photographer and you're still using hard drives and not solid state drives just do yourself a favor, treat yourself, write it off, get a solid state drive because one of them, like I had an error, it like said it was, um, you couldn't copy anything new to the solid state drive, but you could still access the file. So like, thank God it wasn't like corrupt or anything because these have never really failed me. They're the Sabrent ones, Sabrent, whatever. Um, anyways, I got in touch with their team and they were able to like literally re like replace it even though it was out of warranty or I didn't register it or something like that. Um, 
so they were really good their their um, support is just really good and I other than that I really haven't had any problems with it other than the cords being like fucked up in my computer like I don't know I just replace the cords and it's super easy because you just buy them on Amazon but my hard drives on the other end oh my god like they would just randomly like break and like corrupt like the files would be corrupt I couldn't access them like it wouldn't even show up on my computer as a photographer that is like the worst feeling when things say like corrupt file which funny enough last night when i plugged my sd card into the computer it said like the files were not readable like on um lightroom and i was like that's weird they were there on my camera i just saw it and so i went and plugged it into my um camera again i saw all the photos there so what i did was i took the sd card reader plugged it straight in my phone and I just imported everything to my phone just to have because I was like, I saw it on the camera, they're there. Just so I have like this little backup, even though the quality of the photos were, were not as good if you didn't just download them straight to the computer. I feel like I'm rambling a lot. But anyways, basically, I don't know. I think I just had to like restart Lightroom and it was fine and I was able to get the photos on my computer. But that is just so scary. I literally had the biggest pit in my stomach when I saw that. And I feel like other photographers can relate. So let me show you guys how this works. Hopefully it does it well, but I'm just gonna like circle this part. And then right here, I'm gonna say remove phone. That's what right. Okay, press enter. And it literally takes no time at all, comparatively, <laughs> like if you were to do it manually, you know? Let's see stop it so it gives you options it gives you three options so that's the first option second third wow that is insane i'm gonna go with the first that's amazing and there you go no phone just sent the gallery out to my clients and now it's time to get a pedicure i was in leggings but ryan made a very good point that we should probably be in shorts or just something that's like not as tight because i'm just ready for like a leg massage or a foot massage that is what i'm most looking forward for this pedicure and also like my toes are like super grown out. I, I can't remember the last time I got them done. Can I do these at the same time or should I do feet only? Do feet and those. At the same time? Should, we, should I get a, pedi or a manicure too? Mm -hmm. Do we have time for that? I don't, I don't know how long these stuff takes. <laughs> I hate my outfit for tonight. I'm not feeling confident. I literally just got my period. Mm -hmm. I did, however, just get the best pedicure that I've had in a while, so that's exciting. Hair's flat, kind of getting greasy. Don't mind all the packages in the back. It's really bad. I've been ordering stuff for the bathrooms, but this is the outfit for tonight. I mean, I love these jeans and the sweater separately, but like, I don't know what shoes to wear, and it's just, it's just not a vibe. We're not gonna like think too much about it. We have to go. Um, we're gonna go to Ezov in East Austin. We are both starving. It's probably another reason why the mood's not great right now because I'm hangry. I love my fit. I feel really confident. No. <laughs> well, <laughs> not that hungry. I don't know. Just... <laughs> love that for you. We just pulled up to the restaurant and we realized that we've eaten here before. I think it was called something Fork. I want to say Pretty Fork. Remember? But now, it's nice and tight too. Yeah. yeah. Starting off with their bread. I think it's called Frenna. And look at this butter. It's Start some laundry and we're just gonna do a quick pickup. It's like 8 30 and it feels like so much later. I said I was gonna put away the tree and we cannot push it for another day. I got this little ornament organizer on Amazon, so I'm gonna try to set it up right now. Um, but what did we give the restaurant I overall gave it rating? 8.2. I think I gave it like a 7.8. Hmm. Like this, this is all really good. The dessert we got was like the toffee pudding, which I love, but I really love it at the Peacock which is top five favorite restaurants in Austin. And <laughs> it just is not, 
it's just not that level, you know, but that's okay. It was still really good. Like a lot of the dishes were really good. They were really refreshing. Since we are trying to do the caloric deficit, I feel like that was, you know, the most like healthy, but like indulgent at the same time meal. Um, and the portions were pretty like small, like we split everything. So we got to try a lot and we were pretty cool by the end of it. The bread though, oh my God. Like I would just go back for the bread because it came with this like lamb butter. It was so delicious and like flavorful. So anyways, that's my review. I would definitely go back, but like I said, there's just so many restaurants in Austin that we need to keep trying more. And one of my goals, well, I guess you'll hear it in the next video if I put it in there. I feel like it's a stupid goal. Honestly, a lot of my goals are kind of just stupid and things that I just want to like do in the next year to like branch out. But I want to try more food trucks because some of the food trucks we've tried are like insanely good and like honestly better than sit down restaurants. Just the food itself is like, oh my God, mind boggling. There's this one called KG Barbecue and it's been getting a lot of press lately. Our friend from high school moved here over the summer and he is a big foodie himself but i guess i didn't really realize this until we went to that food truck basically he was like yeah i've heard of this food truck we had never heard of it and we had been here for four years and so right after barton springs pool we went over there and the line wasn't even that long but we literally waited like i don't even know like two hours or something and i remember being so annoyed because it was really hot that day and then we got the food and i was like okay it was all worth it like literally top three bites that I had that year was from KG Barbecue and it's the bacon ribs, I think it was called. It's just like so fatty and so delicious and oh, the flavors. Anyways, you guys have to try it. If you guys come to Austin or live in Austin, definitely a must and I'm, I am I want to go back and I just found out that they do like takeout. You can order online too, so like might do that next time. Looks like a lot to put together and it's just cardboard. I thought it'd be like at least plastic so it would hold up better, but let's try to figure this thing out. Oh, maybe you put these down first. Are you kidding me? <laughs> 